Hi, how are you today? In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at a blast from the past, something that I'm sure many of you remember. If you're like me and you grew up in the 70s and the 80s, I'm sure you remember 8-track cartridges. They were all the rage back in those days. I remember every car back in the 70s seemed to have an 8-track player, and certainly many people wanted to have an 8-track player in their car. And also um, home stereos a lot of the times had 8-track decks in them. And uh, yeah, I have fond memories of this format, and I'm going to actually show you a few of the 8-track cartridges from my collection. I don't have a huge collection. I would say maybe I own about a dozen 8-track cartridges. That's it. Uh, I'm not a, a steady collector of them. You know, once in a while if I'm in a second-hand shop and I happen to stumble upon some, I'll always take a look through and look at the titles. And many times, a lot of the times, it's sort of uh, easy listening music from the 70s or country tapes or gospel tapes, kind of genres of music that really don't interest me. But every so often, I will find that one 8-track cartridge that's really uh, a diamond and uh, really uh, a fun uh, piece to add to my collection. So I will show you just uh, three examples from my 8-track collection. So this first 8-track, uh, it's called Comedy Classics. And uh, this was actually given to me by my father. Um, it was gifted to me by my father. And if you look in the fine print, I'm not sure if you can see it, but uh, it's a, a Canadian 8-track. It was actually released by KTEL back in the day. And there is a date on it. It says 1980, KTEL International Limited. And basically it's a series of um, comedy clips, comedy recordings from a variety of well-known uh, comedians. Uh, we have stuff on here by Abbott and, and Costello, um, Bill Cosby, Red Fox, Lily Tomlin, um, just a, a whole range of sort of very well-known comedians. Groucho Marx, uh, Richard Pryor, and so on and so on. George Burns and Gracie Allen. Yeah, so this is called Comedy Classics. I don't think I've ever seen this on any other format. Uh, I don't recall ever seeing it on vinyl or cassette. Uh, and my father gave this to me asking if I could digitize it for him, which I'd be very happy to do. So I'm hoping to do that very, very soon. And also on that topic, uh, I hope to do a future video. I own a really nice 8-track player. And it's one of the really big sort of stereo component 8-track players from back in the 70s. And it's tucked away in a closet where I live and I'm hoping to dig it out sometime in the not too distant future and fire it up and, and do a little review of it because it's a really beautiful machine and I haven't used it in a long long time so I'll I hope to dig that out very soon and show it to you so the next eight track I'm going to share with you is Huey Lewis and the News and their album uh, Picture This and this is from 1982 and this was also released by Columbia House. Now, I'm sure many of you remember, I, I would say that by 1982, 8-tracks were kind of on the way out at that time. I think 8-tracks kind of had their heyday in sort of the mid-70s and were really starting to die out in the early 80s. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure many of you remember that Around 82, 83, the cassette was king. I And I was certainly buying a lot of cassettes back at that time. So I think this is probably, I wouldn't say it was the last 8-track ever made, but I would certainly say it might be one of the last ones ever made. So Huey Lewis and the News, picture this. And uh, this, this contains the classic track, Do You Believe in Love? And I believe it was their second album. And if you look here on the back, <laughs> it still has the price tag on it. I paid the grand total of 49 cents for this 8-track tape. And the last thing I'm going to share with you, it's not so much um, a music tape, it's a head cleaner. Yeah, so I'm sure many of you are familiar with cassette head cleaners. Well, they also had them for 8-tracks. And uh, this was made by the Audio Magnetics Corporation of Canada in Toronto. And there's a, actually a little cat.
cap here at the top and you can take the cap off and basically we see its typical sort of kind of the cloth like material that was used very similar to the ones in the uh, cassette uh, head cleaners yeah so you would stick it in let it play and basically it would clean uh, the head and basically on the cartridge itself, it says removes deposits from delicate magnetic tape heads with the non-abrasive polishing action of polyester fibers. Fits all 8-track recorders and playback units. Use every 10 hours of play for longer life and to improve the quality and clarity of sound reproduction. So, that's basically my Audio 8 head cleaner. And again... Just a small sampling of some of the uh, eight tracks from my uh, very modest eight track collection. So I'm wondering, did you collect eight track cartridges? Maybe you still do. Maybe you still look for them on the secondhand market. Uh, were you a big fan of eight track back in the day? Uh, let me know. Leave a comment. Give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you. As always, please subscribe to the channel. I post new tech reviews every week. And would love to have you join our family. Just click on that little red square in the bottom right hand corner. And uh, we'd love to have you aboard. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye bye.